My name's Mike Spencer and I've been involved in Attenborough and the Centre here for about five years uh, as a volunteer um, and I also have the honour of being on the, the board of the company as well that runs the Attenborough Nature Centre. Most people who come to the site, the first thing that impacts them is our Reflections Cafe. Um, and you just walk through the door, there it is, it's a wonderful cafe, the food is superb, it's as natural as we can possibly make it. What perhaps they don't see as much are the other things that are going on within the rest of the centre. The education function, for instance. We've had literally thousands of children from local schools and from districts coming through this centre for various courses. Many of them have never been out in the countryside before. It's their first exposure to, to this sort of environment. We're doing education for older volunteers, photography courses, this sort of thing. And in fact, we've, we've just been running a fungi identification course which has been taking place. So there's something for everybody and all age groups. And, uh, and it's a continuously changing uh, program. So there's always something to dip into and there's always something new. Well, my name's Andrew. Um, I've been uh, working here at the Wildlife Trust for about three years now here at the Atomer Nature Centre. Uh, principally involved with um, the school groups and uh, other uh, groups such as the one behind you of uh, the younger age. Hopefully through either just uh, showing them or actually engaging them in fun activities, uh, let them you know, understand and appreciate uh, what's on their doorstep. We've come for a, for a day trip out with the, with the kids. This is uh, Lydia, she's two and a half, and uh, my son is somewhere feeding ducks. It's about seven. Well, it's a great place to bring children where not stuck in front of a TV on a weekend. You can get out, interact with all the animals that surround and to enjoy your family life and getting out in the open. I'm Rob Atkinson. Um, I'm the Northern Reserves Officer for Knott's Wildlife Trust. Nobody's very far away from any of our reserves because they're all spotted all over the county. You see. There's obviously uh, a lot of different uh, activities going on on them. There's uh, obviously the kind of work that's going on here today which is uh, volunteer work parties helping out with the practical side of it but there's walks and talks relating to that and the local groups as well so there's a lot of uh, community involvement. The fact is that the trust only survives on the back of its membership. We, we need to have members. Uh, we've got nearly 11,000 members today but we need to increase that. Nottinghamshire Wildlife Trust is about much more than just caring for nature reserves. Through our work with families and schools and through wildlife watch groups we inspire people of all ages about the wonders of the natural world. People joining Knott's Wildlife become part of, there's an ownership to this because they become part of the ownership of reserves like Attenborough and the other reserves throughout the county, helping to conserve it for the future. We just need to recruit people in all the time.